We're all got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh yeah, that did not take long at all. Literally ain't been down there five seconds. <laughs> Good morning, folks. Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Pensacola, Florida. We're headed right now to jump on the boat and do some offshore fishing. Now, if you have ever watched my offshore videos, you know that we have a chance to catch anything and everything out there. Unfortunately, this year, my offshore fishing has been cut short due to weather each and every time we've tried to go. So hopefully today we can keep the storms away. Nonetheless, I am super excited to see what we can catch. So we have arrived, folks, and the water looks very calm today, except there are a bunch of, what's the saying, red sky in the morning? sailors take warning hopefully we'll be able to get out and do some good fishing we are back on the cobia today folks with brian a lot of you in the last video asked if brian was a charter boat captain and the answer is no he's just a friend of mine and we fish together so it doesn't matter how much you offer you're not going to get to book brian landry let's not get carried away <laughs> somebody wants a five thousand dollar trip i'm in <laughs> If we're headed right now to go look for some bait, we will catch up with you when we get there. Check out that bait school on top of the water right there. That's all cigar minnows, it looks like. I have a sabiki rig with these six little flies on it right here. Great. <coughs> For catching bait all you want to do is just kind of bounce it up off the bottom like that i think i got one coming right here let's see hopefully it's more than one nope just one big old cigar mena y'all know that is probably one of the better baits that you can get out here everything eats a cigar mena just straight out, Brian, right in right in that area. There, oh, there's one right there. Come on, buddy. I want to get more than one. Oh, he must be on the bait. <laughs> All right, there's two. Brian's got him one coming. We were able to grab a decent amount of bait, so we are going to take off right now and we will catch you when we get there we have arrived at our spot and i'm going to take one of these live baits that we caught earlier assuming that i can catch them there's one right there and i'm going to put him out on top just to start with because you never know what's going to happen here when you put first pull up to these spots when you have a great shot at hooking up and what I like to do when I'm fishing for these, uh, anything live lining like this, I like to keep the bail open with my finger on the line. What that does is allows you, when he hits it, you can let him eat it for a second. And that usually makes for a really solid hook set. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. There he is. Fish on. Fish on. Oh, come on. That's a good one. That's a good one. Oh yeah, nice fish to start the day. That bait hadn't been out there long at all, folks. That is cool. <laughs> it didn't take long before that cigar <laughs> got smashed. <laughs> oh man. This one's fighting down. Really interesting. He hit it like a king, honestly, but you never know. There it is, big old king, dude. I mean, a nice one. Look at there. Heck yeah. Nice king mackerel. Woo! -hoo -hoo! Oh man. He just realized he was hooked, I think. <laughs> I feel like Brian is going to redeem himself right here. He's got a good feeling. Hold on. Oh, nope. Look what a fish, guys. All right, whoa, almost, almost. All you gotta do, right over the top. 
You got him. I got confidence right here. Oh, look at there. Perfect gaff shot. All right. That is a great gaff shot, Brian. You didn't even waste any meat. Oh, now let's get him in the boat. <laughs> Guys, look what a king mackerel right here to start the day. Nice one, man. <laughs> Brian with the perfect gaff job. We <clears throat> That is a good king, fat, healthy king, man. Another cigar mena going right here. I'm gonna flip him out the back, or actually I'm gonna flip him up front like this. Uh, that We've been here a total of like five minutes and already got a smoker. That is cool. Right when we uh, get set up and start fishing, this happens. This has just been par for the course this year. We moved quite a bit of ways from the storm, even though it's still headed in this direction. I'm gonna drop a butterfly jig real quick to the bottom. Brian's got him one coming up over here on the butterfly jig. See what we're working with. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. That is hilarious. It's a not even a, that's a nice vermilion snapper. And he foul hooked him. So y'all, we are seeing some really unique fish come up in the chum line right here. And I'm gonna take a cigar mena with a circle hook, a little knocker rig, and I'm gonna drop it over right here. And I'm just gonna send it down because this is, this is how you catch these fish. I'm about to show you if I can get one to eat, one of the coolest fish to catch out here. Really cool fish, so. All right, you wanna drop it down about 40 foot under the boat. Oh yeah, I'm on with a fish. He's coming up to the top. I'm on, there he is. Oh, it's a rainbow runner. Get the net, get the net. Oh yeah, I got a nice rainbow runner. Right. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. And there's a, there was more with him by the way. This is the fish I want, right? Oh, there's a shark trying to eat him. Multiple sharks trying to eat him. Get in, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get in here, get in the net, get in the net. <laughs> Look at that shark right there trying to eat him, dude. Check this out right here. This is a rainbow runner that makes some of the best sashimi out there. We're going to have to take this home. That is the fish that I was after. All right. Let's go ahead and give that another shot. That worked really well, okay? So I'm going, going another cigar mina down here. And you want to put these guys again about 40 foot. There's a fish. There he is. I got him. I got him. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. He's coming up to the top. This may be a cobia, dude. Look at him coming right up to the top. I don't know. Actually, it's. I think it's a, it could be a giant rainbow or a bonita or a black fin. Oh, he's coming to the boat. This is a tuna or a bonita one. Look at him out there. It's a bonita. It's a bonita. Okay, <laughs> okay, it's just a bonita. False alarm. Let's see. Oh, they're definitely after him. Look how fast he's going across the top of the water. Guys, these sharks are going nuts right around the boat here, wanting this bonita. I don't know. Look at that big shark right there. Look at him, come on. Oh, look, look, oh, he wants it, he wants it, oh! Oh, come on. Come on. No, it doesn't extend. Oh, he got it. He got it. Oh, wow. I got him. I didn't really want him to eat it. Holy smokes. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Look at the size of that blue runner that Brian just caught. <laughs> Absolute tank, dude. With all those monster sharks around, I had to put one of these giant hardtails on that Brian caught, but and they're, they're already starting to swim around and come to it. This is not gonna take long. I've got a steel leader, big hardtail, about to hook up right here. He's got it. We're on, got him, got him, got him, got him. Oh yeah, that did not take long at all. Literally ain't been down there five seconds. <laughs> oh man. 
That did not take long at all. Uh, whoo! <laughs> I think this is a big bull. I think this is, uh, they're all, they were all like right on his tail. Oh, oh. Come here, buddy. I don't see the other ones with him, though. Whew. That looks like a big bull. Look at that. That is cool right there, guys. That is a caught fish. Moment of gaffing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to take that rainbow runner home right now that we caught. Cook him up. So here we have our rainbow runner and cleaning these guys are very, very simple, just like any other fish. But what you will find that is super unique about this fish right here is that the meat looks very, very similar to tuna meat, which is why it is such a great fish for sashimi. And uh, you can do a, a lot of stuff with it, like make poke bowls, uh, pan sear it, just like you would yellowfin tuna and it is an absolutely delicious fish. All right, folks, we are back at the house and take a look at our spread here. Now this is the Rainbow Runner and it makes phenomenal sashimi. So what we're gonna do is a poke bowl. I don't think I've ever done that on my channel. And the first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna just cut this guy up. I'm excited about this and I really don't like raw fish. You don't? But I like these as ingredients. You've got your rice, your crispy fried onions, is that a Brian thing? Yeah. Awesome, that'll be a nice addition. Your avocado, your green onions, your cucumber, and then of course you're gonna make the sauce. So we have all our cubes of fish cut up right here. Now let's make the sauce. Now, I, I listen, I'm not a chef. This is my first go at a poke bowl. All right, so we do have some sriracha mayo that we are gonna throw in here just like so and then we've got a little bit of soy sauce is that enough honey mm -hmm. how much perfect perfect yeah, amount. equal amounts maybe. okay we've got a little bit of rice vinegar right there and a little bit of sesame oil just a few drops and that is what you are left with right here folks so we're gonna stick the fish right in there that does look good. All right, first things first, we've got our rice right here, and we're gonna dump that in our bowl. Just maybe like a spoonful right in, yeah, on the side there would be good, on the, yeah. Uh, Cucumber on okay. the side. We're gonna throw that on this side right here. That's good. We're gonna do half of the avocado right oh, here. Oh, perfect. And then your... Onion strong. Mm -hmm. And crispy. these are crispy. Onion straws. And right then there. you're sprinkling your onions. A little bit of green onion. Oh wow, look at that. The sesame seeds. We Where couldn't find it? the black ones. Oh we yeah, we use. could not find black sesame seeds today. They were all out, so I'm gonna throw some regular sesame Ooh, seeds that looks good. over the top of it, just like that. that. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. And folks, here it is. For once we have a little sunshine. It looks beautiful. It has been ridiculously um, bad weather. All right, so I want to try to get a little bit of everything in there. Okay. I got some fish, some onion straws, some cucumber. Mm -hmm. The spicy mayo, the soy sauce, the avocado, and then you've got that rainbow runner, which just makes such, it's such an amazing fish for this. How it kind of, the onion straws just give it a crunch. Folks, if you enjoyed that video, go ahead and shoot me a big thumbs up. Everything I'm involved with is linked in my description below. I'm a licensed realtor here in the Pensacola area. So if you are looking to buy or sell a home, 
along the Florida Panhandle, Perdido Key, Pensacola, Navarre. Hit me up. All my info is in the description. Other than that, folks, we'll catch you next time.